I know, fantastic, and you know it's great because we're actually in her beautiful kitchen where many of her recipes have just sort of, I guess they just come to her in the night. No, I'm sure they don't, but she does have a brand new book out, Desserts from My Kitchen. And Leslie, a lot of your customers over the years will recognize many of these desserts. Well, that was the idea. We had all the, when we had the store on 3rd Avenue, these, we were known for desserts and there are so many signature desserts, everything from cookies that we're doing today to the papaya tart to the Concord cake, so things that are more adventuresome and things that are simpler. And something that just speaks and smells like fall, we're yes. making pumpkin pecan thumbprint cookies. So what is the, what is the thumbprint cookie part? Basically, it's a, uh, you know, normal base of butter, sugar, eggs, but it also has oats and dates in here, as well as pumpkin puree. And right. the piece de resistance is the filling that goes on top, so which we're doing. So what's in here? So we've got uh, soft cream cheese, brown sugar, cinnamon, pumpkin puree, and we're going to add um, the uh, crushed or finely chopped pecans to this. all of these yeah, in here? Yeah, all oh, of okay. it. And then this is going to be the topping that goes on top of the cookies and you can make the cookies in advance and then just have them ready to fill their best fill the same day. And one of the great things in your book too is it talks about different variations that you can do with the various desserts. Absolutely. I mean that's the thing. It's like a blueprint. It's a, the original base and then um, and then you know you have to be flexible. Different things are in at different times of the year. These are pretty seasonal. You're not usually going to have these in the summertime. And everything is about pumpkin right now, up until you know sort of the beginning of December. And then we're going to top it with these um, pecans. And I've um, lightly caramelize these and again that's a tip in the book where you just dump them in a little bit of caramel and let them dry but you can just use toasted pecans and then we're going to put them onto this wooden tray. And I love what you've done to decorate the tray something so natural. Yes and easy I mean I'm all about forging and what, what you can use that you have in your house or you know you go to the I just basically went to the park and chestnuts and leaves and you know you don't have to invest in a lot of things. Well you might want to invest in her brand new book, Desserts from My Kitchen. Leslie Stowe with us all morning long. I understand we're going to have quite a bit of rain. It's going to be a bit kind of stormy as you head into tonight. So what better thing to do than maybe make some desserts? And not just any desserts, but desserts from Leslie Stowe's Kitchen from her brand new book, Desserts from My Kitchen, which is just getting launched today. Congratulations. Thanks, Dawn. And we're making what now? We're making a white chocolate brioche pudding okay. with a dried cherry port sauce and this is perfect for like winter days and cold rainy days because it's that comfort kind of food and it also it expands easily you can make it for you know eight people or you can make it for 20 people so you've so got eggs and just what? beaten eggs and sugar all right and when you do that combination you want to make sure you beat it right away because otherwise the sugar starts to they call it burning it gets little bits of the egg in lumps and now we're going to add what we've got we've warmed up uh, white chocolate. Pour it slow or just kind of? Uh, quickly. Yeah, quickly? Okay. that's good. And we're just adding that to the yolk mix, egg yolk mixture. And so we have white chocolate, um, cream, and milk in there. And then we're going to pour this. We've taken brioche and we've sliced it and toasted it. And that's in our gratin pan. And you can use brioche, you can use challah, you can use croissants for this. And then we're just going to pour the mixture all over. That and looks so decadent. Arrange it so it looks kind of nice because then when it comes out, it's a, you know, it's great ingredients, but it's also about presentation. And then this is going into a Bain Marie or water bath. Okay, so quickly we'll so just show people how easy that is to do. This goes in here, and then you pour water, hot water along the side and cover it with foil. So it's like a, a steamed bath that it's going into. And then very quickly we're just going to plate the finished version here. And so for the finished version, I'm just going to take, um, I'm all about having the dessert plate large enough so that you can make a decent presentation. And then we have this dried cherry and port and cinnamon sauce just to go over gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. I'll let you continue to plate that mm -hmm. one. And of course, the trick of the trade, everything in a squeeze bottle, Thor, oh, yeah. <laughs> makes it, it easy for ha plating. Have a squeeze bottle in your pantry. Beautiful. And it looks professional. It's hanging out in her beautiful kitchen and making desserts that will definitely impress your guests or maybe you just want to sit there and enjoy it yourself. Again, she's got a brand new cookbook launching today, Desserts from My Kitchen, and 
the photography in it actually taken from your kitchen. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, and here we are again. And here we are with a great frozen dessert. So this is a semi-fredo, and what we've done is we've um, separated eggs and beaten them separately with sugar and then um, folded them into whipped cream. This is like absolutely one of my go-to desserts because you don't need an ice cream maker for it. And you can make it several days in advance and just have it in your freezer. And it's good all year round. Like we have, I have many variations in the book, but you can serve it in the summertime with fresh berries. We're going to actually serve it with um, a, just a garnish of what's actually in the in the dessert. And so what it is is candied ginger and macadamia nuts. And so you just stick this in your freezer. You want it to be in there for at least um, four hours, but preferably overnight. <clears throat> and we're going to add some caramel sauce okay. to garnish. And we were discussing before the idea of garnishing it with things that are actually in the dish as opposed to just a random. Here we go. I'm not sure how I did on the no, garnish. It's not no, as professional no. as what you've done here. No, caramel is like the new chocolate sauce. It is like. Absolutely, like the go-to, my husband says, does caramel go with everything? But it is amazing with fresh fruit, and with this dessert, it's like, oh, oh unbelievable. Beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Just one of the many recipes, Jody, available in Leslie's new book, Desserts from My Kitchen. Yeah, so beautiful hanging out here in Leslie Stowe's kitchen. And in fact, you can have Leslie in your kitchen. She's got a brand new book out, Desserts from My Kitchen. And uh, I think that it's, you're the perfect companion for anybody. <laughs> that wants to get ready for the holiday season. Oh, I mean, and we've got lots of holiday recipes in there. So what we're doing here is we've, we're doing a chocolate Raincoast Crisp Tiffin. So we've got the Raincoast Crisp that you're crumbling in here, and you can use any flavor, except not the fig and olive. Olives don't go too well for dessert. And this is a take on a popular British dessert. Yes, that they use digestive cookies instead okay. of the crisp. But I like the crisp because they're super, obviously, crispy in it. Mm -hmm. And then we've got dried cherries and we've got chopped hazelnuts, but you can do any variation on this. And chocolate, what kind of chocolate is your preferred? Well, I, um, my absolute favorite is Valrhona. Um, it's a bit harder to get. You have to go to chocolate shops for it. But Calvo is really a great um, chocolate to use for baking. And also Cocoa Berry. So we're just mixing this all up. And see how like it's got all kind of you can do you know apricots in this you could do dried blueberries raisins and then we're putting into a nine inch pan lined with parchment paper and then you're going to just smooth this out and you're going to put it into your fridge until it sets up and this is you know uh, like instead of making a brownie but there's no baking involved which is fantastic and here's what it looks like once it's had a chance to set yes. right and then we're just going to it's quite firm so you just use a sharp knife and then cut it in wedges or whatever you like. And then we're gonna dust it with some cocoa powder. What a great, easy make-ahead dessert. Just one of many. I probably put a little too much dust on there. We might need to add more of the okay. actual <laughs> dessert. You can again check out all the great recipes in Leslie's brand new book, Desserts from My Kitchen, which launches today.